highly touted recruit Lou Smith will not be playing in Lexington next fall. The wide receiver out of Huber Heights, Ohio, verbally committed to Ohio State Sunday morning prior to his nationally televised game on ESPN. The 6'5", 198-pound Smith is considered the fourth best prospect in the state and the number 119 prospect overall in the class of 2018. He picked Ohio State over finalists Cincinnati and, of course, Kentucky. Well, the addition of Blue Smith certainly would have been great for the U.K. receiving court, but Kentucky feeling good about the players that they have there right now. The loss of Dorian Baker provides the rest of the receivers an opportunity to step up and grow. And that doesn't just apply to the freshmen. Garrett Johnson has taken huge strides over the summer, and Lamar Thomas says that he's ready to step up in Baker's absence. He understands he has to step up in the leadership role, losing a guy like Dorian, uh, and I think he's okay with that. You know, I really believe he's okay with that this year. Um, last year, I would have said no. But this year, you know, he's another guy that they've worked their tailbones off this summer. And they've really, um, you know, they've, they've really taken this challenge. One of the best things about the UK Alumni Charity Series, aside from the fact that it raises over $1 million nearly every year, is that it gives players from all generations of the program to come back, to give back, and to get to know one another. A lot has been made in recent years about no matter how long you're at UK or when you've played, it's a brotherhood that gets carried throughout their careers and beyond. But La Familia didn't just start with John Calipari. When I was playing here, Bill Kitely was here, and Bill was sort of a bridge to all the generations for us, to Dan Issel and uh, Adolph Rupp and, and you know guys that really built this program. Um, and so... It was a thrill for me to get to know Kevin Grevy. Kevin Grevy would recognize me or Rick Roby or, you know, Jack, Jack Givens. Um, so it was great coming here and getting to know these guys you grew up watching and, play, uh, and then, you know, got a chance to maybe play with or against. And then now to, to be able to go out there on a basketball court with Carl Towns. It's fantastic. Well, they were rivals in college, but Louisville's Mango Mathiang recently signed a two-way contract with the Charlotte Hornets, making him teammates with former U.K. star Malik Monk. Now, no mention of whether or not Louisville's win over U.K. back in December has been discussed, but when it comes to playing together in the NBA, Mathiang has nothing but good things to say about Monk. Can't really say much. He's my teammate. And, uh, yeah, he's a good kid, man. He's, you know, he's a hard-working kid. You know, it's obvious that you know he's he's fun to watch, uh, but he's he's more business type. But he's 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 goofy. He's like this guy, so I can you know I can kind of get used to it. Well, Mitchell Robinson is reportedly returning to Western Kentucky. Per Chad Brown of WBKO, the five-star center will be eligible to practice immediately and play with the Hilltoppers this season since he did not transfer. Now, Robinson was indefinitely suspended by Rick Stansbury last month after an unspecified violation of team rules causing Robinson to leave school and reportedly he considered a transfer or sitting out a year before going to the NBA. Robinson has until 4 p.m. tomorrow to officially enroll. The Bengals playing their third preseason game against the Washington Redskins. Cincinnati led 14-13 at the half. The Bengals getting touchdowns from Jeremy Hill and a pick six from Vontae's Burfitt. It took 92 minutes, but the Kentucky women's soccer team picked up their second win of the season. Tanya Samarzic scored the golden goal in the second overtime period as Kentucky beats Wyoming 2-1. to one. And Lexington scored three runs on four hits in the top of the fifth inning, but it was not enough as the Legends fall to the Taurus 8-3. And in the majors, the Reds sending out Tyler Maley for his major league debut. Top of the first, he gets his first career strikeout, sitting down Adam Frazier swinging and his teammates getting him some support in the second. Scott Shebler, sacrifice fly to right center field. That's going to bring in Scooter Jeanette. It's one to nothing Reds, but the Pirates win 5-2. to two. We'll have more LAX18 news after this.